Welcome back, you guys. Once again, I'm going to be showing you how to go from 0 to 2 million coins in FIFA 23. Whether you're on 0, 100, or 500 will get you to that million. Now, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe because we are giving away £220 worth of FIFA points at the end of the month. So be to a subscriber. You've got to show proof on Insta, but of course, you are all able to enter. And if you do want to get some coins in a little bit of a quicker way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing in FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it so if you didn't see yesterday we looked through bidding filters and i would advise if you are trying to make coins to go have a look at yesterday's video because we did have some really good filters you see here all of these sell for 800 like that so we can get 850 out of most of them as well and we picked up quite a few obviously we bid on like 46 cards we've got a decent selection so it's not bad at all and then the two Niketias that we bid it on he sells 12k instantly so both of these nice little profit there as well so if you are going for a million coins you could be starting with a ton of different budgets so what i would suggest is if you're on anything from zero to 10k to do a little bit of a club gut try and push your club a little bit further if you've got badges if you've got chemistry styles things like that get rid of them get them sold for as much profit as possible and if you need to maybe play some games use coin boost because you can easily push yourself up to around 20k doing things like that and also having a look at the bidding filters from yesterday video now when you've got yourself to the 20k mark or for those of you who are already there you're going to want to be doing some filters that have fresh new cards in at the minute especially with future stars being the most common promo so if you have a look at future stars the midfielders if we have a look at those the cheaper ones you're looking around 30 to 50k so that's not too far off where we're looking is there anything that we can get for around 25 i think there's probably a few so we've got plata we've got Singo, ico bravo or ico bravo can be changed to that kind of uh, position in there you've got plata Singo. Go and um, so see that these are some of the cheaper guys available. So we want to knock this down a little bit further. So obviously, we'll see where the minimum is 16,750. There's a couple there. Oh, we've got 14,250. We've got oh, no, was there a 13? 13,500 as well. So both of those are profit sniper. Let's have a look at what he's going for. So Tillman actually goes for about 15 to 50, which isn't too bad. So for this one, we're making like 500 coins, which isn't great, but isn't bad at all. Uh, but for this one, we're making, I think off the top of my head, uh, about K and a half. So that's not bad at all for a start. You can see based on that, a good way to go through this filter would be to use compare price because you'll be finding a lot of the cards that are just li being listed up and you can immediately just snag them because a lot of these guys will be listed way under their value purely because I've said this a lot lately because it is a thing when you get a card and you think it should be worth a certain value and it's just not. You know, when you get a future stars, you're a new player to FIFA and you think, oh, I might have got 50K, I might have got this, I might have got that. And it comes up at the absolute Build prices that these cards is that a let me check platter it's not let's have a look at that oh we've missed it but before i was saying but before platter interrupted us there um you've got the opportunity obviously you've packed something and you see how much it's worth loads of people will be fury kind of listing those uh for less than their worth now platter and um, because we're doing obviously a filter that has a few different cards on you know this one's worth 15 250 this is worth about probably 16 750 so that's not a snipe this guy is worth 17k so that 15 uh would have been good there so for this guy you want to be looking realistically probably at 15 15 250 or below uh, we'll see if we can get one of him the other thing about doing this with compare price in this way is that rather than sniping the bottom end and only getting the, you know the, you'll only really get hillman uh, or tillman sorry if you do it that way at least if you snipe in this way you see all the cards and you can snipe them like that i mean we've missed that one there but that would have been wonderful now moving on we've got this one here special midfielder and denmark now, if you take off the price cap you'll see all the players so you've got the lady you've got hoiberg and you've got a dams guard card in there i don't know if there is anyone else on this one i think it's just those three obviously loud up there but he realistically is not going to come up at 20k uh, nor can he so that's obviously not one to talk about but you've got those three players all special all a decent you know similar price but not too far uh, below each other so looking at this one here you've also got Lindstrom and you've got Lindstrom's first card so you can move this over to the Premier League if you'd want to um, it obviously I think it then just becomes Dan Bart, Dansgaard and Hoiberg so there's that as well and then you've got Ericsson as well so there are options and um, you can do a few different variations of this one if you'd like to do it just as the standard without print and um, you're going to basically be going for this guy uh lundstrom quite a lot 
but you can also do the prem version. You might get a little bit better profit with that one. So looking at this, uh, we're looking at about 16K um, for both of these, 16,250 maybe, let's have a look. 16,250 seems to be kind of a good range there. So after EA tax, you're probably gonna be wanting to snipe at about 15K. So we'll go down there. By the way, I don't know what is wrong uh, with the market. In the bottom left corner there, it seems to be when you click, click on there, it seems to be that they've basically made it too big for the box. I don't know why they've done that. Uh, but classic EA, uh, little mistakes in a very, very expensive game that people put millions and millions of pounds into. It's a, it's an interesting one. I don't know how they, they make so much money and have so many mistakes. But, you know, I, I, I'm actually not one of the EA haters. Um, I feel like a lot of people are. Um, and people give them a lot of stick. But I feel like as a, you know, it's a game. It's not a lifestyle. There is going to be limits to how much they put out sometimes, but, but maybe it is a good thing. You know, we don't need to be on FIFA 24-7. I'm not saying um, that I, I excuse everything EA does. They do a lot of trashy stuff and they are very lazy with fixing things that you know benefit uh you know when it benefits the player they fix it straight away when there's a pack that you know gives you a little bit better than you should uh get out of it they're always quick to fix that and understandably uh that is frustrating but i don't think that they are poor with content as much anymore i think they've got definitely got better over the last few years uh, but we're going to try and get a hoiberg here for maybe 15 500 oh oh 13 000, baby so we're going to list that up for I'd say we'll do 16,750. Profit on that one is about 3,000 coins. Um, so that is really, really good. So you can see how quickly you can move up. That is, a very, obviously it sounds silly, but that is a very small percentage towards a mill, but it is a good stepping stone. You know, that is a really good place to start, especially when you're at 20K. I don't want to spend too much time on this one. We've talked about it before, but Brazil, La Liga, Real Madrid, midfielder, minimum 10, 250 as a brilliant filter. You've got Vinny, you've got Rodrigo, um, you've got Cruz, you've got Modric, and um, you've got quite a few players there where you can make an absolute ton. So definitely use that as another stepping stone. Similarly, another one, same kind of price ranges that's really good right now, forward Argentina, Syria. Now you've got inform and a standard version of this which is really good and um, so you've got Diabala and Martinez now that can be used first of all to push yourself up quite a few coins there because both of those 86 Syria really easy to snipe between the two pop it as a gold rare filter and you're good to go now the other option obviously with bigger budgets there and is special now obviously Melito actually I think is the cheapest of the bunch here um, you've got Melito you've got Diabala's ones to watch which I don't actually know the value of I think that's probably a little bit out of the reach of this filter and um, you've got Martinez's inform you've got his second inform you've also got Diabala's inform um, and then you've got some Martinez I think World Cup cards as well so you've got a very good selection of informs now albeit a lot of them are similar players and similar price but it doesn't mean that they're not as good um, the 87 Martinez card I think is over Sean uh, actually, I think it overshines the 88 um, just because how much things have been dumped into SPCs. It's actually not very different in price. You find the absolute bottom end of this at 35,000 coins. Um, so I would say realistically, we're going to sell on at 36 because there's not many, there's not really many pages or anything. You've literally got two pages. Where's that? Let me just check. Am I right in saying that he was 36 as well? Okay, that was a good snipe. That was a good snipe. I know that there's still a couple coming up there, but I'm pretty, yeah, right. That was a good snipe. That was a very good snipe. Okay, nice. Right, we're gonna have to get another one and then we'll list that Melito up. So 36 is the value we are going with. 10% obviously for EA tax. At this rate, it's easier to do 10% because obviously 5% is 1.75, I, uh, I think. Off the top of my head, maybe 1.8 there. Um, yeah, 1.8, that was quite silly of me, bad maths. But 1.8, so if you take 3.6, which is 10% rather than five, we go down by three, and then we go down by what is basically 0. 0.6 there. Um, it means your profit is gonna be 1.8K per card. Now, I would say best to just go down to 32, means we're getting like 2.3K per card. Because you are at a higher value, you might as well push a little bit more. Now, obviously, the Melito we picked up there is, I think a 4.2k profit, which is really, really good. If you were at 40k, that's like literally 10% of the coins that you had added on top of what you have. And that is, you can, you know, you can kind of start seeing where it's easy to multiply your coins once you have more. You know, that snipe wouldn't be possible if we didn't have the coins. And we've got another Melito. So two of them right there. I would say as well, the one genre of card that I would say is my favorite to snipe at night 
is the for heroes the standard for heroes that still impacts i know that sounds mad but the shoulders we did a little while ago on a filter which i will show you just while we talk about it and they sold so well and I, what i did find is you know they were the kind of stunts that were on the cuff where i thought oh these could be a little bit close and they just still sold really quickly so for this one obviously most of you will know this filter it's my favorite one that i've ever like found myself and, and i've not really seen anyone else use this filter but it was special striker norway uh mid 10k oh, oh sorry not special just a special uh striker norway min 10 250 and premier league so you've got erling and you've also got shoulder obviously shoulder being cheaper the majority of the time but it gives you that chance to get a harland stein so obviously if we go down here i think 20 20k is that the kind of the dot for him there maybe 21 and um, but before I, i'd say these heroes it's just so easy to snipe them and make profit like this here that 20k might be a snipe um you're looking at realistically yeah so that that is a snipe to be honest so if we go down it's already gone but you can see that would have been so 22 seems to be where it sells ea tax is going to be 1.1 so we want to go down to there that's basically a 1k profit per card um i would say actually go to 20 because there'll be a load of people listening at 20 and you might only be getting like an 800 profit but because you'll get so many of them it's probably worth having it set at that amount so you can get all of the ones coming up we've missed the 20 already but that was because we've been working out the profit i think we could definitely get ourselves a lovely snipe here so we've been trying for a while and none have came up on snipe so we're going to set the max price to 17k and we're going to set it to special and we're just going to see if we can bid up some shoulders so you've got a couple here you are going to be looking at obviously waiting a little while for this if you do manage to get one you are absolutely buzzing now if you've only got 40k obviously you'll only be able to do two of these and it might take you a little while longer obviously when you've got to wait around for the biddings to go through and see if you win now obviously i'm going to sleep right now a lot of these are going to be finished midday tomorrow and i might find that i've won all of them i might only win one or two of them now i understand that obviously leaving your coins in those overnight can be detrimental to your coins if you are trying to use them uh, to make profits. So what you can do is wait till you are on maybe 150k, maybe 200k, and that's when you want to build on maybe five or six of these. So you still have a lot of coins left over. Obviously, I have a lot of coins at the start, so I can maybe build on a few more. Now the next fill we're moving on to while i've literally been looking up what we're going to do in terms of pricing for this one we found a very good snipe so this guy's going for about 14k that's about 500 coin profit which is absolutely lovely now you can see we searched at 13 250 there's nothing at four i mean we could have actually probably pushed that a little bit more we probably could have got 15 out of him but we were starting at 14 so we'll take it now obviously this one here you've got a few players obviously none of the vitas and the uh sanchez is going to come up but you've got jello you've got mendez and you've also got lopez who are all in a very similar budget bracket and i would say this is probably a one that you can also use as a bidding filter but right now we're just going to use it for sniping it's really easy to snipe late at night at the minute i would say the one thing about late night sniping is you're going to get less cards popping up but you're always going to be uh you've probably got a, i'd say a 10 to 20 percent higher chance of getting the card being that they are probably it's just the competition the lack of competition there of, of people actually trying to get those snipes and also from the looks of things the market no longer kicks you out when you just spam search because i've been doing that this whole video and we haven't been kicked off the market once now obviously touch wood that that does stay that way because that is a massive dub so as you can see we are literally spamming the absolute hell out of this and obviously i, I would always have been kicked out at this point so I'm, I'm pretty confident that they've taken out which is a huge step in the right direction it's a nice move from ea i do feel like eventually they will go transfer market less and uh, there won't be a transfer market I, I think that is a point that's potentially maybe three or four years away and obviously the content on this channel will change up by then um, because we will have to adapt but hopefully they don't i don't know if, if it's possible that they'll always it, it would just mean that they stop coin selling completely and, and it also means they're going to always get more money um but i think the transfer market does provide a bit of transparency and i, and I think they I hope that they keep it in we've got a 12 750 there absolute love lovely which shows they're not kind of like what i did think is they might be allowing us to spam snipe but just not allowing cards to come up but clearly it's not a thing it, it's not gone there it's not gone it's not there anymore so it's a win so we're going to finish off the road to a meal with a bang. We've got goalkeeper, Premier League, Brazil, minimum 10 250, Edison and Allison. Now we've gone through that before. I'm not going to make that the bang uh, that finishes the video, but it is one that we always have to mention. Another one you've always got to look at when you're going for a meal coins, gold rare forward, league one and PSG, because how are you going to have the greatest transfer profit of all time without using the greatest players of all time? We've got Messi, Mbappe and Neymar all under the same field, albeit you will only find Messi and Neymar, uh, but you've got 75k for the budget on that one. Really, really easy to make a ton of coins. Now, 
got a filter here which has multiple variations. So you've got the midfielder Germany Bundesliga and special. So this one you're looking at Ricken, Sane, Arnold, Brand. Really, really nice filter, but it's not high budget. Now I'm looking at a higher budget one. You want to go gold rare. You want to go midfielder, but you want to add Bayern into the mix. You've got minimum 10 to 50. You've got Goretzka. You've got Kimmich, and you've got Muller. All of these bad boys under one filter, and you can remove Nabry as well. But you can keep him in because right now 85s are brilliant. So you can get rid of him by just doing like CDM, centre mid, cam, etc. But he is a really good one to leave in because he is profitable right now. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you haven't got a million coins and you need some more, we well, got to subscribe so I can keep teaching you how to make a ton. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow.